Hello friends, welcome to the Tech Design channel. So friends, today I will talk about AMD Radeon Pro W7600 and W7500 graphics card. So friends, these cards target the mid-range of the Pro by segment with segment brand ranging between 350 to 950 USD dollar and the two are hence positioned below W7800 and 7900 that the company launched April. And friends, both are based on same RDNA 3 graphics architecture. These two to and client segment RX 7000 series and AMD is pricing the two new cards aggressively compared to NVIDIA both the W7500 and 7600 as based on 6 nanometer Navi 33 silicon and friend and friends, you get 32 RDNA 3 units, 2048 stream processor, 64 AI accelerators, 32 ray accelerators, 122 TMUS, and 64 ROPS. And the card comes with 8 GB of 18 GBPS, GDDR6 memory across a 128 bit wide memory bus, and the memory does not feature ECC. And the card comes with a 130 watt typical power draw with a single 6 pin PCIe connector, and it uses a slick single slot lateral airflow cooling solution and AMD claims 20 TF LOPS peak FP32 performance and friend the cut down from the same Navy 33 silicon as the W7600 and it is equipped with 28 RDNA3 computer units that make up 1792 stream processor, 56 AI accelerators, 28 ray accelerators, 112 TMUS and 64 ROPS while the same 8 GB of GDDR6 memory is on offer across the same 128 bit memory bus and it is down clock to 11 gbps and AMD claims a peak performance of 12 TF LOPS which is slight which is still higher than the 10 TF LOPS put out by the previous generation W7600 and the W7600 had a typical power draw of 130 watt. The new W7500 is able to match its performance at just 70 watts. So friend, if you like my video, please do like, share and comment and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon.